part five right here. I haven't gone anywhere, I haven't done anything. So we are right where we left off at the end of part four, starting part five. Thank you for joining me. Again, I'm Fox and Oxen, much love. Let's do it. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, left and right, shit. Um, so dark, everything got so dark. Where did the left way go then? Yellow thing way in the distance? What is that? What is that? Whoa! Traps of death? I'm gonna watch your picture. There it is, behind me somewhere. scared. Oh my god, what's up there? I can't see fucking anything. What is this? There used to be a tent thing. How do we get up there? How do we get up there? Here, paper. Testimony, boyus, a five-year-old boy possibly exposed to an unknown force that caused the death of 12 people at Vladimir 30 Complex. For his W. I've seen in my dream you asked me about the same thing you are asking about right now. The same man was standing behind you, Dr. Gregor Antowitz. Boris, there is no one standing behind me. No one's here. Boris, you are wrong, Dr. G Gregor Antowitz. This man is asking me to tell you that in the orange light, the world is more beautiful and asks you to take a look at chamber number seven in section 22. Doctor, how would you know all this, Boyus? You're, did your father work in our department? Boyus, no, Grigor. My light's flashing. There means something's coming. I had to close it. My light was flashing. How do we get up onto that thing? Oh my god, there's so many ways to go. I don't want to go that way. Glad we got up from this thing, though, at least. Creepy. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. The chair just went behind it? The hell?
Finally, we made it to the pass. Thank God. God, we made it. On our way, I felt someone was following us. I heard strange whispers around. I sometimes even caught a glimpse of a moving shadow in the trees. There were moments I could feel someone's breath upon my shoulder. But when I stopped still, hearing the snow crunching under one's boots, and turned around, there was nobody there. I had the impression this is a place of some horrid altar of madness. Nothing is as it should be. Or, or it's some kind of a nightmare. And then we found the bodies. Something told me not to look. But it looked like something was sticking out. Or maybe there was just some voice in my head which kept repeating, Go down there, go. I can hear it clearly even now. So I went down and found the remaining four. The way they looked, what on earth could have happened to them? I'm not able to describe it in detail. Smashed skulls, twisted limbs, broken ribs, torn, cut, or burnt skin. Never ever have I seen anything like this. A gruesome image of madness or some sick experiment. As if someone or something played with them and abandoned the destroyed toys in the forest. I felt madness was slowly but firmly overcoming my soul. hiding here for some reason. Jesus Christ, what about? Sounds like the rustling of a page, but it doesn't continue. It stops real quick, so. So lost, I'm just freaking out. Hold up. Let's go back up here for a second. That's where we went to get to the. Cabin thing, right? Listen to see, make sure. 
Yeah, that's where we went to the cabin. Okay. That's where we just went. Just like a dead end. Dead end. That brings us down where we came. This also brings us down. Okay, let's just walk down it though. All right? Shit. Silent. Not a noise. It's even creepier. It makes it even fucking creepier. Clouds, you see them? Run, 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 run! The sun is just starting to set. I see it like I am there myself. Can't read it right now. Just starting to set. Oh my god, is that? I see it like I am there myself. As if I'm standing there in the middle of the forest. I'm not sure what is going on with reality. I'm writing with my own blood on a tree. My own name. Anton. No, not mine. His. The sun is just starting to set. Orange mist. Orange mist all around. I, I see their bodies coming out of the woods. I hear a scream, a horrific scream of terror. Is that my voice? I think it is. Where's Anton? Where did he come from? How did he get in? The sun is just starting to set. He's in me. He's in my head. He's coming in through my eyes. The eyes are windows to the soul. 
Where is Anton? I am dropping in a bottomless abyss, falling into the pass. Dead and rotting hands are catching me on my way down. I can feel them whisper into my ear. Now you are ours. You will never leave us. I'm calling him. I'm calling Anton. Where is Anton? I don't know. I see nothing. My eyes are overflowing with blood. I have to escape. I have to run away. I have to start running. The sun is just starting to set. What the fuck just happened? Oh, we're only... stick now back up or I can go down God, there's so many I have written down. So many. Look at this. Look how many I've written down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen, right? Thirteen. Crazy. How many we got done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's only two from what's on the map that's not found. But there's still the other ones that aren't on the map that I have written down that we can go find. A lot. We might have ran into them already. We don't know because it doesn't show it because you're not marking it on your map. I would actually have to... What the fuck is that? Oh, campfire. Okay. Where are we with this? Let's see. I don't know. Here? Tower? That's where we were. Fire tower. Oh, no. oh, here we are. We're here. That's where we are right now.
The Red Tower. Finally got to it. A lot of those things I have written down, we probably found those like, little pages and stuff. What is this place? I wanted to get to this tower the whole time. We finally made it here. It's awesome. Circle it before I go in it and I'm freaking out. That's what I saw from the mountain top in the distance from the very beginning. The church? Remember? Look. See, there's a church over there way in the beginning. And I always wanted to get up here. I always wanted to go to this place. I finally got to that tower. Oh my god. Now, what is this place? Who can you fuck out? Snap, you know, like a tree being brought down. I told to go check it out because it seemed like the sound was coming from the chamber. I stood up and went to check the readings. He said everything was fine, and then the doors started to bend, you know, bulge, as if you've been pumping a balloon. Finally, the doors just burst into the room, straight off the flame. Poor whoever was standing in front of me, and those doors just wiped him out. I saw everything in slow motion. I thought someone was soon going to enter the room, the military, or maybe being attacked by Americans, but nobody came. Only Blank buried his head in his hands and started screaming like a wounded animal. I will never forget the sound of that scream. Then he stood up, turned his back to us, and his head spun around. He stood like that, looking at us. I don't know how much time had passed, maybe a second, but for me it was an hour. I shouted to run, save yourself. The Blank finally fell to the ground. Blank jumped to his feet as if he wanted to say something, but his face, I don't know, Inspector, I think you've gotten that voice from the room. Please continue, Dr. Dumuk. I want von Kulitz. His face started falling apart, apart by part, like fragments of a broken porcelain mask. Then objects started levitating, desks moving, we heard screaming and loud banging. Everyone started screaming. I screamed too, it felt like, you know, something was boiling inside of me. I had to escape, I started crawling. There was something split on the floor, but it kept crawling through it. I remember closing my eyes and moving forward from memory. I could only hear roars and screams until finally something exploded and everything went quiet. I don't know how much time that passed. When I lied motionless on the floor, at last I opened my eyes and it was dark all around, you know. I felt it crawled. I felt I crawled to the corridor. I slowly stood up and saw that I was at the end of the tunnel. The red emergency light was barely flashing. I began moving towards the end of the tunnel every now and then stumbling on something. When I came close to the light, I froze. I closed my eyes again. Voice from the room. Dimitri, it was. Uh, I've nuts. You, you're doing great. Please continue. Yes, yes, of course. I apologize, but I don't know. I mean, I closed my eyes because I couldn't believe it. At the end of the corridor, went sideways to the left and right. In both directions, there are people standing, melted together with objects with the walls, you know, like mixed up, as if something, someone took a large swing in the sturdy part of the world. Great. And that's where I'm going into right now? Fucking awesome. Okay. Jesus. So where are we? Exactly. down here. Oh uh, man, we're going to this place now. There's so many other places in the caves I didn't get to check still. It's been a little minor things, but still. Oh, something behind me. that light on the ground. The light's moving. Flashlight doesn't do shit in here. Uh, I 
lights aren't moving. Oh! What was that? Oh! 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 My God! That scared the shit out of me. Knew I heard something behind me and I turned around and this fiery demon was running at me. What the fuck was that about? Legit shooting my pants right there. That was fucking weird. Came out of that side door, a little one to the right that I passed. I guess I gotta run. But I can't run that fast without running out of breath and shit. Damn it. I like this game. Very atmospheric. Very atmospheric. What's going on with this loading now? Okay, we're right here now. Good, good. Remember that in the very beginning of the first video, we found that wooden bridge? It looked like a train track. I got to one side and I couldn't get to the other side, but there was a page on the other side there. That's another place I wanted to go to. See, that was the door down here that just closed. Oh, oh. Oh. Got in the room in time. I'm standing on this side of the desk. Fuck that. I am an empty wreck. Strange lights in the sky. Made in his image, but not alike. A servant, obedient to one master. My body, My body is a shell, shell, and I am ready to absorb him. Now I see the plan. I see the magnitude of devastation. The Creator summons me, and I want to be his food. I am humming his tune. I am looking at the world through his eyes. I drink the blood of his enemies and taste the rotting bodies. I feel the sin sprouting under my skin. I hear screams in my head. I hear them calling me. I hear the calling of the ones that through him have already found their eternal shelter. Free them, my lord! Free them! And take me instead! Fulfill your revenge! At the hour of my death, an army of angels comes out from the orange light. Their song is made of one powerful voice. I feel their presence, their twisted faces, their black eyes drilling into my consciousness. They demand to finish the work. Oh, his presence is overcoming me. So poor and defenseless. What have they done to you? What harm? There is a place. You were there, and so was I. A, a huge gate. And the Creator hidden behind it. Only those few who touched him could understand, but you could. You understood, and I understood through you. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Secret door? No? I could go back out in that tunnel? You're fucking kidding me. No. something else, you know? Oh, 
Or it was just that door unlocking. It wouldn't let me out before. Gotcha. Time does not heal wounds, as I've recently learned. This truth was pounded into me by pain, cruelty, and lies. I learned from this. I remembered. It nearly touched the essence of my understanding, becoming the revelation of truth. When they dragged me down the corridor with my shattered bones. You. When they okay. operated on me to observe the misplacement of my organs. When they put the worst nightmares into my head. When they closed More. me up, put me together Absolutely. again and revived me over and over to test Fourteen. the limits of my endurance. And when finally, after so many years, they told me my wife was dead. Time does not heal wounds. What the fuck? Where, where, where should I go now? Is it these mountains now? This is the way I came. I got another hold up. Let's see. Where do I come from? No, I didn't come from this way. I can't see shit. Okay, let's see. Let's go back through here. The rock is so trippy that there's something weird with it. Alright, let's try to go down here then. Okay, we were here. We came here. I know where I want to go now. But since I know I came from this way, I want to go to the right over here instead of this way. Let's see. Right? This way is where we're going. Thing I was talking about. Day clearly got worse, just as our moods. We're all a little scared of what happened last night. There were even some suggestions of going back, but that was outvoted. 
We set off at around 10 a.m., going the same Mansi trail as we did earlier. We encountered a small camp of a local hunter during our hike. We asked if he had hunted the other night, but he said no. He told us a story about a ghost prowling through the forest in the form of a bright fog. Obviously, this did not make us feel better. We kept on going forward. Today, the hike was slow and difficult. The visibility is close to zero. The temperature dropped to minus 24 centigrade. Jesus. Around 4 p.m., we had to start looking for a place to set up a camp. We found a good spot on the verge of the forest, covered from the wind. As exhausted as we were, we began setting it up. We were too tired to dig up a hole for the campfire. We ate dinner in our tents. We had no strength for any discussions or thoughts. At night, I clearly heard someone walking around the tent. I heard them whispering my name. I do not want to talk about it with the rest of the group. They'll think I'm going crazy. Twenty-one by 
by 77. church. I 
a campfire, though. We can zap ourselves to the other camping tent where we need to be close to. Yup, I remember those caves and shit. That was like a first or second video. I got a good way, I think, to get the missing pages and shit. Whoa, look at that! Just like wall, 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 wall. There's a tent somewhere over here. Where's the tent? Didn't just disappear. somewhere. Where the fuck is it? Where is it? right there. It was right there. Field. It's gone. We're going this way. Unless...
gotten lost and we figure out where we are so we can get those next locations. God, things are everywhere. It's so dark. Two sixty four. I hear something coming up. What is that noise? There it is. There it is. Yes. We set off quite late today. I think everyone heard something at night, but they are afraid to admit it. I walked around the tents, but didn't notice any tracks. We didn't talk too much. We barely hiked two and a half miles. We got the impression that something clearly changed. I felt someone was observing us, and I think the others had a similar feeling because 
They mentioned the hunter was heading in the same direction. We won't make it any further. I think we'll stay here. Okay. Well, real quick, I wanna... Where was that that we just... got? What was that one we just got? Things getting closer. We gotta move. God. Oh no, I trapped myself. goes crazy too and these type of things. We're walking down into this. 
It goes crazy. I need, what was it? 45 by 84? 45. Four. So I gotta go down to the right somewhere in here, into the woods. Problem is there's demon things in here. Right there. God damn it! They're quick. This fucking game. I swear to God. I heard the paper though. Rustling in the wind. I was going the right way. The flashlight gives you away. Running gives you away, of course, but... I'd still rather run. I wonder if I did crouch past them the whole time. It would work. Let me try it. Let's see. If the loading ever finishes. See the footprints? Crouching aspect works. As long as they don't see me in clothes. My dear Vera, I am spending my time in the Institute on long walks in the park. Only here I can find solace, only in the shadows of the trees. My thoughts are peaceful when I see how the sun brushes the green leaves and the wind covers my face in a gentle, warm blow. The doctors say... The worst is behind me. The breakdown was temporary. It's difficult for me to say what triggered this state. I know you'll never forgive me for what I've done. The tragedy that I have contributed to shall never find any justification or explanation. I can only cover it up with madness. But. I am aware that this is a pathetic excuse, and I'm not able to hide behind it. I take full responsibility for what happened, and I am prepared to be punished. The doctors, however, say I will probably not leave the Institute. You must know I would rather rot in prison a hundred times for what I have done to you. I have to confess, I tricked you. I knew you would never, ever want to hear what I have to say to you. That is why I sent my friend with this letter to your sister. And after a lot of persuasion, she agreed to read it to you. To you. I thank her from the bottom of my heart for this. I'm ending this letter. I want to bore you no more. I love you and believe that someday, hopefully, I will be able to tell you all this in person. Luckily, my friend Anton is by my side at all times. He was the one that went to your sister. Oh. I hope this letter finds you both well and in good hmm. health. Interesting. I wish you all the best. 
And the guy was screaming about it. Forever yours, Vitaly. Now let's get the hell out of this place. I know where I need to go. Down to that place where that demon was. Yep. Fuck. Oh, I said I wanted to come back here. I guess I got my wish. Even though now I'm wishing I didn't have to come back here. think you are significant, that you will uncover the truth for everyone to see, so you can point the finger at the monster. First, take a look at the mirror. Sean Bean, that's his voice. The Ned Stark, that's his voice, Sean Bean. Yeah, 20 by 72, I remember writing that. Where the demon was. I escaped the demon that time though. Yay! We zoomed too quick last time. Ah, ah. Oh, he's still around.
Where is this paper? Where is this paper? Where is it? Couldn't have just left it, no. No way. It's in here somewhere. and fell into this fucking thing. <laughs> I glitched it out like I got stuck in like a little prison. That's stupid. Come get me, demon. Since I caged myself in this, we're going to end this video here. In the next video, we're going to get that page that's in here somewhere. All right? <laughs> I can't believe I got stuck in this stupid thing. Unless there's a way I can fix it real quick. But we'll end this video here. I appreciate it, guys. And uh, thank you for joining me. Then be the finale, I guess. And we'll beat the game in the next video. All right, so thanks again for joining me, guys. Have a great night. I'm Fox and Oxen. Much love. Please like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. And uh, have a great night, all right? Like I say on the end of every episode, every video, lights out.